Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about the rerun banners that may and hopefully will come in the near future and which ones I'll be going for and ones you should go for as well. Hope you enjoy. So first up we have Albedo the Alchemist. Now sadly he was released before I really got into Genshin so I didn't pull for him unfortunately but I wish I did because while he wasn't that popular at the time Maybe because Ganyu was coming out, everyone's favourite waifu. But because he wasn't that popular, and it turned out he was pretty damn good. He has now gained a cult following that is waiting for his return, like many of these rerun characters. So, Albedo, such a good character, and one I've been wanting for quite some time, as he fits that second Geo character slot so, so well. As when I've been running Jean Lee as my main DPS, I really want that Geo resonance, as it is so good, as well as because Geo doesn't rely on reactions, all the more reason to run another Geo character. And that's where Albedo would fit in perfectly. Now hopefully he comes soon, as we've had Venti, we've had Childe, jean Lee, and Klee, so he seems like he would be the next one to come. Although they did switch the order in that they didn't just rerun the characters in the order they came out, so it's definitely possible we'll get some of the characters we'll talk about soon before we get Albedo. Also, because his initial sales were relatively low, it's possible they'll be more mindful of when to re-release him, but hopefully he comes soon, as he's a great character, especially when you want to run jean Lee with him, and so I definitely will be summoning for him. So now we have Ganyu. Now everyone probably knows about Ganyu already, she's the most broken character in the game offering insane amounts of damage with a charge shot and was extremely hyped up during her release and as she was featured people probably started to realise just how good she was which led to even more people pulling for her. Now sadly I also did not manage to get Ganyu and so definitely will be summoning on her banner as I personally lack a good 5 star cryo character as Eula's more of a physical damage dealer and so the only other 5 star is Kiki who's a support however being able to get Ganyu will help out quite a bit with some of the pyro domains or if we get some pyro bosses later Ganyu will absolutely shred them or just anything really as she is that good now she's also quite flexible being able to play both a main DPS or a sub DPS role in which she's really good at as she can easily apply cryo with her various abilities as well as her charge shot and that's why she's often featured in many of the freeze teams out there. Now will I be summoning for her? Hell yeah, she's an amazing character and while I don't want to feel sort of cheap for using her as she steamrolls through content, I like many others want to get every character and Ganyu is one of them so hopefully I manage to get her. So third up we have Xiao. Now finally a character I actually managed to get and I'm very glad I did because man what a character. Now he was one of my first 5 stars I pulled for and I mainly did because he just looks so damn cool especially during his burst when he starts jumping everywhere and plunging down on the enemies and good movement for me in characters is always something I value quite a bit and so he was a no brainer to summon for. I've used him quite a bit since then and really enjoyed him due to the high damage he can output during his burst with his plunging attacks that deal huge amounts of AoE damage which is really good and it's a Nemo damage so enemies usually don't have a high resistance to it. The only thing you do have to be careful of is his positioning and making sure you are hitting as many enemies as you can with his attack but luckily he has a skill for that exact reason. And I would argue he's probably in the top 5 DPS's in the game with obviously Ganyu at the top but in terms of gameplay and overall feel I think Xiao at least for me would really be up there because as I said he's just really fun to play darting around with his skill and such and I was even thinking of crowning him and I still might but I just can't decide who I want to crown. Now he's a main DPS and so if you are thinking of summoning for him do be wary of that and also that he's very selfish meaning that you'll pretty much have him on the field for most of the battle due to how his burst works unlike reaction based carries like Diluc who rely on switching party members in order to trigger reactions. Now will I summon for him? Probably not as while his constellations are good I feel they aren't super duper good 
and so instead I think I'll spend my Primo Gems on the weapon banner that will hopefully be released with him with the Primordial Jade Wing Spear as I don't currently have a good polearm and so getting that will definitely help my shell as well as any other polearm characters I have as well as some that may, that may come out in the near future. Now finally we come to Hu Tao. Now she was released right after Xiao and so I couldn't pull for her as I had used all my Primo Gems for Xiao which was pretty sad as she turned out to be a really cool character and a really powerful one at that. Now one thing I really like about Hu Tao is the whole the lower her HP the more damage she will do makes it really fun when you have this sort of mini game of keeping her HP low but at the same time making sure you don't die to the enemy's attacks which is cool, it's kind of similar to Xiao in that his HP will slowly decrease during his burst so you have to also be wary of that to not get hit and at least for me it's much more fun than just pressing Q and dealing tons of damage. Now I know of course when you start getting really good artifacts as well as good weapons, constellations then this sort of mini game gets a whole lot easier but now will I summon for it? Maybe as personally I use Deluc who already acts as my sort of pyro main DPS character and so that's why I like to go for different element characters so I can always adapt and change my team to the different domains I may come across as well as the different event challenges that come and so having two main DPS's that are quite similar and that they both rely on pyro reactions may not be a great idea. However at the same time if I am close to pity then of course I will summon for her and at the end of the day I want to collect every character I can and so if I if I get the opportunity I definitely will be summoning for her but now then so there are many exciting rerun banners that are coming in the near future that I am very hyped for so now the question is which one will you summon for let me know down in the comment section and as always I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time